Hi, everybody. I am Kevin Ioli, and I'll tell you what, I cannot wait till October 5th, not just because the Conor McGregor Khabib fight is going to be the next night, and not because the day before should be a national holiday as my birthday, but because <laughs> we're going to have a big event at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. It's going to be streaming on UFC Fight Pass, and of course, that is called Quintet. It's by UFC Hall of Famer Sakuraba. He's bringing her on. It's a grappling event, very unique. And joining me now to explain a little bit bit about that is another UFC Hall of Famer, one of the greats, and uh, my good friend, Mr. Uriah Faber. How are you, Uriah? Doing good, Kev. How are you, man? I am doing awesome, and if I cannot wait for anything else, it is to see <laughs> you beat Sakuraba in the first round, and then in there in a grappling match in the second round with former UFC heavyweight champ Josh Barnett. That would be fun, man, and uh, let me tell you, I'm going to be going for the, for, the, for the gusto on that. Of course, it's an honor for me to share the mat with, with Sakuraba, he was my favorite fighter when I was getting into the sport. Um, and then Josh Barnett, what a dangerous dude. I could put him out. He's he's more than 44 pounds. He's about, uh, you know, 80-plus pounds heavier than I am. So our match would only be four minutes, and, and I don't think he'd be able to submit me. But I, it could be getting cocky there. But uh, yeah, I'd like to get past Sakuraba and then maybe see Josh Barnett. Maybe I'll take out the whole team. That's, I, I, it's possible. Well, let's go through this because I think it's a really unique format. So there's going to be four five-person teams. Team Alpha Male is going to fight Team Sakuraba in a first-round match. So why don't you explain how it's going to work? Basically, it's a, a win-and-move-on type situation. But go, go ahead and explain it, Uriah. Yeah, so there's four teams, and uh, each team has five guys. They have to be under 943 pounds, and... So you can have any shape or size as long as you're underneath that weight class. So for for us, for example, I'm going to be about 155. I've got a 165 pounder, a 170 pounder, and then uh, two heavyweights. So Barnett's team will have Josh Barnett. I'll have Sakuraba, who's 180 something. It'll have Takoro, who's you know 160 approximately, and then they'll have two other guys, uh, twin brothers that are or, or brothers that are going to make up the rest of that weight. So each person goes out one at a time. Uh, they, they choose two people to go out. One person chooses their guy, then the other team chooses their guy. And they have to match up. If there's no submission at all, both guys are eliminated. If there is a submission, that person stays in, and he can go all the way through another team. So um, once you there's a draw, both those guys are eliminated, and two new people are sent out. So it's uh, survival of the fittest. It's it's a it's a point situation. Uh, there's a winner and there's a loser, and the the team that wins moves on. The thing I think is fascinating about it is you know the different sizes and everything. And I know in grappling that that's not as big a deal as it is in actual fighting. But you know Josh Barnett is one of the great grapplers of of this generation. Uh, and so if you go up against a guy that has that much size on you, and you know, it's probably going to be 80, 90, 100 pounds, right? I mean he's a big dude. Like how, how do you attack a guy like that and be able to uh, to to do something on him? Um, well, I mean, that's, that's one of those things that, that's going to make people want to tune in the drama of that. I mean, he really is one of the, one of the great grapplers of our era. And so am I, you know, Sakuraba and myself I both have 19 submissions in competition. I think, uh, for UFC pride, WC strike force combined, uh, I think we're either tied with or, uh, or number two and out of everybody. So, um, that's exciting, you know, Barnett's a guy that that I would have to be really cautious with. For four minutes, I'd have to be fast and elusive and probably pose some big threats myself, most notably to his neck because um, I don't know how I can manipulate the rest of his body. So um, that would be my game plan, and and I'd be curious to, to see how that goes down, and we may find out. So Eddie Bravo uh, has got a team in this, uh, 10th Planet. Uh, they were actually the defending champions, I guess. And then uh, Team Polaris is uh, the other team. Who are, who are some of the fighters in this that for people who don't follow grappling closely, in addition to yourself, Sakuraba, and Josh Burnett, who else in here do you think uh, people should be watching for? Well, you know, Dustin Akbari is my, you know, one of the team captains for our team. He's a guy that uh, – you know, you you look at and and wouldn't know that he's one of the best grapplers in the world, but he he really is, in my opinion, between wrestling and jujitsu and combining them both, um, he's very tough. And then uh, the Polaris team has a, has a, has a bunch of 
of world champs that are that are part of that 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 grappling team and and so um you know there's a couple gracies involved and um you know the takoro he's, he's one of the great lightweight fighters out of japan that I, I watched for years and heroes he's he's an exciting fighter um i've got a guy munchir munch they call him and and he's uh he's a tough fighter out of my gym i've got a guy anton jode he's a he's a olympic brazilian wrestler heavyweight and a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu he's he's someone that was brought on by my coach fabio prado um that's something that, that's someone we're looking forward to to having on the team and um the list is going to go on i mean you're going to see some of the finest grapplers on the planet and i should mention it's only on uh, ufc fight pass so if you want to watch it if you're not at the orleans arena in las vegas you're going to have to uh, stream it on ufc fight pass how long are they how long are the fights uh, how long do they give you to grapple because uh, that that'll be a big question so the the fights are eight minutes that's if uh, you're within the 44 pound weight limit. If you're out of that 44 pound weight limit, then it's only four minutes. So if, if someone's 44 pounds heavier or lighter than you, uh, you're going to have a four minute match, and which obviously makes it harder to, to get those submissions. Right. All right. Well, very good stuff. So you can watch it on UFC Fight Pass. You can buy a ticket. You can see this at the Orleans Arena. A couple UFC Hall of Famers, a couple of former champions. You catch them all there. Thank you, Uriah. All right. My pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. I hope you're great, Kevin. I'm doing well. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, my pleasure.